Hey everybody, good morning, it's Mr. G, and today is my birthday, and I'm going to try something, let's see if I can get in here, hello, we've got the camera set up on this canvas, and we're going to try something that I've never tried before, um, this is called a pour painting, P-O-U-R, as in pour the paint onto the canvas, um, we are going to get started if you try this please please have your parents or somebody grandma grandpa whoever's around help you with this because this could get very very messy if you can see I've got a piece of plastic you can use newspaper um, you can have anything underneath and you want to make sure that everything is clear because it's going to get messy we're gonna pour the paint on the canvas it's gonna drip all over the place and it can get really messy. So what I've done is I bought some pouring paint and it's pre-mixed. So it's got a little bit of a silicone in it so that um, we get a, an effect that you'll see later on. I, I just bought four colors. I don't know if you can see these colors here. And that's what I'm going to be using. So this is only going to be a four color painting. I've seen lots of examples on YouTube. Um, that have many more colors and you can experiment uh, we're just trying this out and see how it works so I've got three cups and I'm gonna pour the paint into these cups in no particular order but uh, these are colors that I like and some of the rooms in my house have a color scheme that uses some of these colors so I'm gonna start out with some pink I'll just leave the caps open because I'm going to be using a lot of this. I think on this canvas, three cups of paint are going to be more than enough. So I'm probably going to go about half way, maybe. So you just mix in the paint. You know what, I'll start with this one with white. And you pour it right into the cups. This one I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave the pink out of that one. I'll add a little pink in here. Like I said, I've never done this before. I've seen it. I've watched many, many videos. The videos are really uh, what we call um, hypnotizing or satisfying. Uh, they're really cool to watch. So if you get a chance, just look up pour painting on YouTube and you'll come up with lots of different uh, ideas. So I think that's probably going to be enough. And I am going to, the first one that I do, I'm going to do it in a different way. And I am going to take these off of here. And I'm going to try this, try not to spill here. So I'm going to hold, let's see, I'm going to hold this paint, I don't know if I can do this. So I'm going to try my best to do this, let's see if it, ha if it works. I'm going to flip the painting over. Okay, and I've got it elevated on these cups. Okay. Okay. All right, so here goes the first pour. Let's see what happens. This is upside down. I'm just gonna, all right, we gotta get it to flow. 
now I'm hoping, after I'm looking at this, I'm hoping that I have enough paint in these, because that's not pouring really well. I'm going to add a little bit more in these other ones. So I have a feeling I'm going to need more paint. Okay, so let's try this, a little bit of different technique. I'm going to kind of just on that one. And then the last one, we'll do a little pour like this. All right, so we've got quite a bit of paint on there. I'm gonna get this out of the way. And now I'm gonna take the canvas and I'm going to do a little bit of this. Just kind of get it flowing. Into one another. When it gets to that end, I'm going to bring it down like this. Got a lot more pink on that one side than I was thinking it would. Okay, it gets to the edge. I'm going to bring it down like this. It's starting to drip a lot. You guys can't see it from this angle, but I'm going to turn it back to the other angle in just a second. I actually like what's happening here. This is what we call abstract art, when you don't really know exactly what's going to happen, and you just do your best, and we see what we've got when we're done. It's really dripping. It's on my hand. i got to get my rag. What I'll have to do is I'll have to get my little paintbrush and I'll have to move some of the paint on the sides. Start, I gotta get it to flow down in that last corner down there. Looks like it's heading down that corner. All right. So I'm going to let this sit for a second, and I'm going to go real quickly, wash my hands, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the next step. So the next step we've got is uh, I've got a heat gun and this this is called a heat gun and it obviously when you turn it on it gets really really hot or warm it's it's kind of like a hair dryer but it's a lot hotter and the air doesn't come out as fast. If you use a hair dryer, I think you'll find that it might move the paint around a little bit much. Now what we should see here soon, hopefully, is some air bubbles forming. Because I believe that there's silicone in this paint. It's pre-mixed paint. So we're going to see if that happens. And if it's not happening, like I don't see it happening, then this paint that says it's pre-mixed pouring paint doesn't have the silicone in it. So we're just going to see the cool color swirls, but we're not going to see the bubbles that you see in the other ones. So I'll have to try this another time, and I'll have to add a few drops of silicone in it. Because right now I am not seeing the 
results that I've seen in other examples. So that's a little bit disappointing, but still, this is a really, I love the way this paint has swirled together. It looks kind of like a, like a marble. Alright, well that's really not doing what I thought it was, but that's okay. I did say that what I would want to do is get a paintbrush and just help some of this paint. I'm just going to grab some that has dripped off. And I'm just going to add to the white areas that are still left on there. And hopefully I'm not going to ruin this. I'm going to just kind of drip. Just so that we don't have the white showing. So I'm going to grab some of the paint down here. And I've got a little bit of a canvas area left there. Touch that up. We'll come around to the other side. And this has got some purple and blue in there. So I'm going to just touch that up real quick. Come there in there. Let that drip. Maybe I'll grab some of this turquoise over here and we'll add some of that in there. Let that drip. Let that drip down. And the reason I've got this elevator with these cups here is to keep it off of the ground so that it can drip right down onto the plastic that I have here or a newspaper or something and it, it won't get it won't stick to the table when it dries and it might stick to these cups but I can easily pull these cups off instead of you know trying to get it unstuck from a whole table all right, I got just a little bit on this side that I need to touch up. Other than that, this, this side's done. So, let's take a look. So you can see the sides are beautiful. And that's your finished work. So I'm going to set this down to dry. Probably let it dry for a whole day. It's a acrylic paint, so it'll dry kind of shiny and plastic. And I can hang this up in my room for a nice little very, very colorful accent piece. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Mr. G signing off. I will talk to you again next time. Bye, guys.